Welcome back. Another fortnight has passed, which means we have a new rotation of free assets on the Fab Marketplace store. So to get these assets, what you need to do is you open up the browser, the Epic Launcher, and you go to the Fab section here. You can also go to fab.com in your web browser if you want to. And in here under the limited time free section, you have three different assets. And this, time, this time around we have the construction props, we have the two-in-one nanite environment bundle one, and we have the robot three. So these are the three assets we get for free, and we get them for free if we get them before this time period runs out. So exactly 14 days from now. These assets, to get them, you go in here and you choose a license, so a personal or a professional one. I would suggest just pick the professional one and then you add it to cart or buy now, depending on which one you want to do. And the professional and personal one, they don't have any differences in how you can use them. They only apply to different companies, essentially. So the professional one encompasses more people, which means that this is the safest choice. It will encompass pretty much everyone then, essentially. So. That's why I suggest that you pick the professional one. Other than that, there's no difference. So this time around, we have the construction props and you can see some information about it here. And we have the two-in-one environment bundle, which we have over here. You can see some information here. And we lastly have the robot three, which is a character from SDK Warrior. And you can see information about that asset over here. So that's the basic thing. So let's check this out in more detail and see what they are all about. First out, we have Robot 3. So this is an asset by SDK Warrior. It is um, announced as a one piece model or a modular part with modular clothing uh, assets. So this is a character essentially. And here you have the character uh, in its um, APOS, showing off what it looks like. And then around here you can also see the different animations retargeted for uh, the skeleton. This asset itself does not contain any animations at, uh, itself. It only has the animations that are uh, by default from the Unreal Engine template. So it's only the character and here you can see what the character looks like when it comes to its different component parts to form up the character. And you can see that there are some variations in the visuals of this character. They are namely based on uh, materials. So you, you can go and uh, edit material information to uh, get a different look, essentially. So given that it's just a material, you can change things like color, dust and emissiveness. So uh, you can get a bit of a, a different look like so, which is something but it isn't a whole lot you don't have a lot of uh, geometry you don't get a lot of visual um, changes that make it look different other than the colors themselves and included beyond that there are, uh, is also a weapon so that's essentially what you get in this pack it's uh, fairly straightforward fairly small and contained uh, not a lot of bells and whistles next up we have the construction props so this asset is created by Brasileirises. Brasileirises? 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 Sure, let's go with that. Um, <clears throat> so essentially what we have here is both the overview and the demo level. Uh, so what you have here is in essence you have a few different construction sites created to show what you can sort of make out of this. And then you have the different modular pieces that this was created from essentially so you have the <clears throat> the dirt parts and uh, rebar and uh, containers and piles of dirt and uh, construction beams all kinds of of small little uh, details that create what looks to be a believable construction site so these construction sites over here uh, are in essence, already created uh, blueprints. Um, so opening up one of these, we can see that uh, this is what it looks like. So you have essentially a root component and a bunch of different <clears throat> of the modular uh, parts put into uh, different parts inside of this blueprint to, to make it like one, one uh, solid unit. So. Uh, what what uh, unit is usually calling a prefab essentially? 
So yeah, so that's what you have. So you have a few different uh, ones that you can like make use of directly if you want to do that or alter them, or you can just use the, the modular parts yourself and then build up something that uh, is more in, in line with what you are trying to achieve essentially. Uh, overall, I would say it's uh, pretty nice. You can, you can see that from the demo examples here, you can get a fairly diverse um, visual from uh, the different construction sites, depending on how you put things together. Uh, so, so that's nice. And you have a fair amount of different individual assets here as well to uh, create whatever construction site you want to create. Lastly, we have the two-in-one environmental bundle. So this is a collection made uh, comprising of two different asset packs that the creator has made, which is Dazzling Divine. Uh, in this specific case, it is in the asset pack called uh, Stunning Natural Place and Volcanic Environment. So this is, as you probably can tell, the envi volcanic environment. And we have a bunch of different particle effects and volumes going on here in this sort of volcanic uh, landscape. It looks a little bit weird. Maybe there's a setting to tweak or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, this is the, the demonstration level for the volcano environment, essentially. And um, yeah, it looks like uh, a volcano environment for sure. Uh, the sort of uh, illusion breaks quite quickly if you just go out a little bit and uh, look around in the surroundings you see that there's some hills around here but not much and then the, that's basically it so this is the, the main scene essentially these two volcanic peaks and uh, the special effects that are erupting uh, in and around these areas uh, other than this we also have <clears throat> the level for uh, the stunning environment so the demo level for this shows off a lush forest uh, with some lakes and the water and stuff like that so uh, an, a nice uh, looking level with some foliage and things like that for sure but uh, like the other one uh, you quickly get the the idea that the, the actual demo level itself is quite quite small if you look go out like this you can see that basically this little environment here that we start off with the camera is is what is created to make it look nice everything else just works as a visual backdrop that only works from that specific point of view essentially so if you are down here everything looks nice when you're looking around but uh, traversing outside of this, everything starts to fall apart pretty quickly. So as far as demo levels go, they are quite small and sparse uh, in that regard. Uh, when it comes to the actual assets themselves, they have also some uh, overview levels where you can see the, the different parts that consists of the, the pack, but they are quite weirdly put out because you can see this is all that we have. And I'm not entirely sure if this is the only assets that are uh, used to create that level if so that's uh, impressive i guess but that also means that you have to work pretty hard to get something that looks um, varied uh, because there are not a whole lot to play around with here essentially uh, the volcano level has a little bit more when it comes to uh, individual assets but not a whole lot so these are the packs we get this time around uh, let me know in the comments what you feel about these which ones you like which ones you dislike what you think about the, the general uh, offerings of the, the free programs as a whole, or anything else you want to let me know. Anyway, that's going to be all for now. Keep on learning. Take care. A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos, or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from.